So in this problem, we're proving by induction again. Uh, a sequence is defined by un plus 1 is un over 1 plus un, where u1 is 2. The first thing we need to do is find u2, u3, and u4. Okay? So u1 is 2. Uh, we want to find u2. So we're going to use the answer divided by 1 plus the answer key. So u2 is going to be 2 thirds. u3 will be equal to 2 fifths. And u4 will be equal to 2 sevenths. OK. Hence suggest an expression for un. So an nth term for this. So the nth term, well, they've all got 2 in the numerator. So I'll have 2 in the numerator for here as well. And here we've got what appears to be an arithmetic sequence. So we've got the 2 is the difference between 3 and 5 and 7. So we've got 2n. OK. And how do I get from 2 back to, well, what I need is 1 um, in order for the denominator to be 1. And so that would be take away 1. So if we substitute a 4 into that, we get 2 over 8 take away 1, which gives me the 2 sevenths. So that seems appropriate. So we're going to prove by induction that the answer is correct. So stage 1, prove true for n equals 1. So u1 is 2 over 2 times 1 take away 1, which is 2 over 1, which is 2, which is as we required, u1 is 2. Stage 2, assume true for n is equal to k. So uk will be equal to 2 over 2k minus 1. So stage 3, prove true for n equals k plus 1. So when n is equal to k plus 1, we'll have u. So we want this target, right? So our target for this is that u k plus 1 is going to be equal to 2 over 2 lots of k plus 1 take away 1, which is the same as 2 over 2k plus 2 take away 1, so plus 1. So if I can arrive at that, then I know I'm done. So u k plus 1 is equal to uk over 1 plus uk. Now the uk, remember, is this 2 over 2k minus 1. So we've got 2 over 2k minus 1 over 1 plus 2 over 2k minus 1. So it's substituting the uk that I had here, sorry, into my formula. Now I'm going to multiply both top and bottom of my fraction by 2k minus 1, getting rid of that denominator. So in the numerator I just have 2. I'd have 1 lot of 2k minus 1 plus whatever's left there, 2. So that gives me 2 over 2k minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1, which is precisely what I wanted to arrive at. So as it's true, for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, that was our assumption, then we showed it was true for n equals k plus 1, so it is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and so that is the proof.